everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Witcher 3. Okay, so since the last session where we were tying up some loose ends in Velen, I have crafted the superior Ursine armor and it looks great. And the more eagle-eyed amongst you will also notice that I have also crafted a new crossbow. Yes. The Ursine crossbow. So we're looking pretty dapper. I'm still I'm still using the superior griffin swords though, because I don't have the diagram for the superior Ursine swords. Which leads me nicely into today's session, because at the uh, well, during the last session I asked, do you want me to carry out these treasure hunts on camera or off camera? And categorically, you have said you want to see me do them on camera, which suits me just fine, because this will serve as a bit more nostalgia. As we travel across Novigrad initially, move to Kermorn, and then finish up in Skellige, gathering the various pieces of Witcher school gear, we can use that time to reflect upon our experiences of The Witcher 3. And I ask you if you're watching, not just to reflect upon your experiences of this LP and watching me play, but also if you've played the game yourself, reflect upon the game. It might have been a long time ago you played this, because I have obviously dragged this out until <laughs> until, uh, until now. Due to the fact that it's an LP, of course. But yeah. You know, just, just just think back and, you know, what did you particularly enjoy about the game? Perhaps even leave a comment on this video, you know, what was it about The Witcher 3 that drew you in? What do you like about the game? What, what makes it great? You know? Anyway, we have business to attend to. We have a silver sword diagram for the Wolf School gear here in Crow's Perch, apparently. Now, considering the amount of times we've been back and forth from this place, you would have thought we would have stumbled across this by now, but obviously not. No problem. I'll simply get there eventually. I have no clue where it is. Is it in Crow's Perch itself? Is it in the cave that we used to access Crow's Perch for the very first time? I do not know. And it's not a great day for treasure hunting, is it? Pouring down with rain, thunder, lightning, very grim, very miserable. When one is reflecting upon the past, particularly good times, it's best to reflect in bright sunshine, surely. To reflect the positive mood, but never mind. And this is kind of weird for me, playing this session. Those of you that watched my live stream on Saturday, I'm recording this on Sunday, Sunday... Well, actually, it's Monday morning. I'll tell you why in a minute. It is in this cave. It is in this cave. We're going in. And the reason why it's weird for me playing this session now is because it's uh, currently about 10 past 12 a.m. Monday morning. And those of you that were watching my stream on Saturday of uh, Firewatch will know that my beloved mother went in for an operation on her shoulder on Saturday morning. She was supposed to be back today, or yesterday now, Sunday. She was supposed to be back on Sunday, but uh, due to the fact that the uh, shoulder was more damaged than the doctor initially thought. How on earth am I going to find this blasted thing? Am I missing a trick? Uh, I think it must be. It must be down here. Why would they send me down here? It's going to be a long session if this is the theme of it. Me going to kill myself. Geralt, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah. So due to the fact that the the, the 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 you know the operation I think went well according to what the doctor said, but. Uh, you know, he had to do a bit more poking around and a bit more repair work than he anticipated. My mother's been in extreme pain. 
yesterday and Saturday. Wow, this armor's great. We barely felt a scratch from her talons. And um, so as a result of that, she couldn't come home yesterday being Sunday. She couldn't come home on Sunday. So um, she's having to stay in until Monday. So I uh, am home alone, which is a rare occurrence for me, really. And I usually don't LP at this time. There we go. Thank you. Because my mum sleeps next door to me. So out of out of courtesy more than anything, you know, I don't want to be talking and perhaps shouting and carrying on <laughs> when I get excited during an LP session. Past a certain time, usually about 11 o'clock is the very latest I'll start a recording session. And that, even that's a very rare occurrence. But yeah, so, so seeing as there's no one to disturb here, I thought, uh, and I've been, I've had a really busy day today, going back and forth from the hospital. Uh, I've also played football. I've um, decided that, you know what? I'll, I'll do some LPing at 12 o'clock in the morning. So, so this is a first for me, really. And it's, it's actually, it's not really alien for me to be playing a computer game at this time because generally speaking I prefer to play computer games sort of between the hours of about 11 and 2 or 3 you know when I'm either when I'm not working or on a day off or whatever if I if I do play any games if I do play any games off camera you know for my own fun I generally play them you know, at that sort of time. So it's kind of nice to be LPing at a time where I like to generally play games. If that makes sense. Anywho, we have some boots to procure. Now, obviously, I'm crafting the superior, or have crafted the superior. Griffin armor. I have crafted now the superior Ursine armor. I was aiming and hoping to be able to craft. That's why I'm collecting all the damn diagrams. The um, you know the, the the wolf skull gear. But as I craft more and more of these pieces, my ingredients, my crafting items dwindles. So if I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have enough stocks. To be able to craft them all, but I'm going to try. We can always purchase some of the uh, needed items from a, uh, you know, from an armorer, a blacksmith, whatever. Anyway, the the wool skull gear diagram upgrade there is in the middle of nowhere. Well, technically speaking, Todorus. This is where all the devourers are. Yep, I remember it. I remember it. Music! Oh yes, Norvigrad music! Oh, and of course, our stamina ah! goes up very slowly in this armor compared to my medium. But then, as you can see, these creatures hitting me is not doing anything to my damage me to my to my vitality. I feel almost impenetrable here. Hit me if you can! Now for the tougher fights I can sip on some Petri's filter I think it is or whatever it is to increase your stamina regen. I'm sure there was a uh, potion for that. Was there not? No, sign oh, that's sign intensity. We don't want that. We want stamina regen. Is the one that increases stamina regen? Or, or did I make that up? Did I make that up? No, there's got to be one that increases stamina regen, surely. Oh, Tawny Owl. There it is. There you go. Tawny Owl. Bloody How long have I had Tawny Owl for? What kind of a witcher am I? I'm completely losing my bloody marbles here. I can hear you all now mocking me. Oh, he likes to play games after 12. <laughs> he can't even think straight after 12. 
Not without a glass of alcohol in his hand anyway. Oh god, I hope this weather clears up. Well, hopefully we'll get to Skellige, get some nice music, some nice scenery and some better weather. Come on, where are we? Where are we going here? I'm getting closer. Is it in a cave? Top of a hill? I don't know. Looks to be in some it looks to be in a cave. Grotto! Santa's little grotto, okay. Hello! Anybody home? I'm looking for wolf school gear. If you don't disturb me, I won't disturb you. in dark places. <laughs> we have no cat portion left before much longer. Left or right? Left. It's funny that because I... Uh, it's become a bit of a trademark really. If, I'm, if ever I am faced with a split path, I always take the left path first. Now that is something that only ever came into fruition through LPing. Before... Oh, here it is. Here it is! I've got it! Woven boots! Thank you! Lovely jubbly. When I... Is that... Have I been in here before? The, another... Ooh! Meltith Superior Spectre Oil! Wow! What the hell's Meltith? Sounds like a sword. Sounds like a sword or something. Just... Trying alchemy. Is it a potion? Can't be. Meltith? Meltith? Doesn't ring a bell with me. Meltith potion. Now, can we craft the superior spectre oil? No, we can't. What are we, what are we lacking? We're lacking Rebus. Okay, we're lacking Rebus. What do we need for Rebus? We need white gull. No, oh, what a shock. We need white gull for everything. Get some white gull. Get some rebus. And then finally, we get. These are potions. We need oils. Here you go. Superior spectre oil. Those spectres won't know what hit them now. I'm decked out in. Ursine heavy armor, their sword blows will just glance off, and now I can do superior damage to them as well. No longer will these cretins be the bane of my existence. I hope. Okay, lovely. Well, seeing as I don't think we've been in here, I'm going to explore the rest of this little cave system. This grotto, as you call it. Anyway, I was explaining that, yeah, this whole turning left first stuff only ever came into fruition through LPing because... I think that's it. Is it? Is that it? Is that... Because when I was play when I used to play games before LPing and the I was ever faced with a split path, I it used to be the same old debate. Oh, where do I go first? And I sometimes I go left first, sometimes I go right first, and you no matter what the situation, nearly most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time, you get the chance to go back uh, anyway and do both paths. So I, I can't remember what LP I started doing that, but I, I decided to go left first. So it takes the decision making out of it because it's just automatic. Split path, right, let's go left. <laughs> Screw it, you know, 50-50 chance of getting to where you want to go anyway, so just pick go left and if it's not the right way, we can always go back. So that's how that came into being. Right. So we have completed that little quest. I can hear drowners in the distance, but then they're miles away and we're not gonna concern ourselves with them for now. All right, okay, so... <clears throat> Treasure Hunt, Novigrad. Level 30. Bear School. You know I told you that I didn't have the superior Ursine Steel Sword and the superior Ursine Silver Sword? This is why. Because I haven't found the diagrams yet. Now, I don't know if I'll actually switch to these swords or not. But, uh, well... 
We've got to find them first, don't we? We've got to find them first. And there's somewhere in Novigrad, apparently. Or Velen, at least. Uh, one at the Ruined Tower. Uh, ruined Tower? And one in on the outskirts of the bog. Okay. Can't fast travel from here. Really? You say I can't fast travel from here? You are mistaken. I can fast travel. Just hadn't pressed the button yet. There is actually a mod for this where you can Oh! You wanna do this, matey? I have got your number. I know your weakness now. Your weakness is that you cannot handle me when I am in full flow. When I'm flailing my blades like a maniac. You can't deal with it. I know! Lovely the battle feels like... Ah! 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 Come on, catch me if you can, slowpoke! Got ya! Got ya! <laughs> got you, got you, got you! <sighs> I feel so powerful! Anyway, I'm not here to gloat in the glory of beating down earth elementals. I'm here to find my sword diagrams. Come! Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Oh, we've got echoes here. Surround sound. Where's it hidden? Come on. Where's it hidden? There is a chest here somewhere. I can smell it. I just can't see it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now I see it. Nice! We must have been here before. I don't know what we came here for. I don't know what we did come here for, but... Oh well. Sorry, buddy. But you attack me! Right, we need to get the crookback bog and scoot across. So this is, this is, a, this is a time to reflect. Look, we're back here again. The Baron's wife. The Crones, Johnny, the Trail of Treats. This seemed like such a long time ago. Final preparations? Wait for daylight. Phew. For a horrific moment, I actually thought that the quest had updated because I'd taken too long. But uh, we have to complete this quest in the daylight, so... It's not a, phew, not a problem. It's not a problem. Right. Let's keep moving. So yeah, that seemed, like, that seemed like such a long time ago. Probably because it was a long time ago, but it does feel like a long time ago that we were that we were here dealing with that little situation. Hello. You want to just burn and die? Thank you. Bye. Just burn and die. Bye. It won't die, of course. Hello, Drowner. Drowner times two. You want to just burn and die? Thank you. Bye. Just burn and die. <laughs> it's like a childhood prank, isn't it? Remember knock a door run? If you're under the age of 20, you probably don't know what the hell I'm speaking of. But before the times of Xboxes and Playstations, you had to make your own fun. You know, Kirby, Wally, these very basic games that you played as a child, a child of the 90s or 80s. And one of the all-time favourites, surely, was Knockador Run. I think it's got slightly different names depending on what part of England you're from. But uh, we called it Knockador Run, and you, it's where you knock on somebody's door and run away. And you were so mischievous, you know? Old Mrs. Miggins' house. 
She'd take ten hours to answer the door because of the arthritis in her ankle and whatever else. And you'd knock on the door and you'd wait a little bit and you, ooh, she'd hobble along and then you'd run away. So when she opened the door, nobody was there. It was hilarious. Terrorising these people. It feels like that. Burning them drowners and then running off. Almost childlike fun. You're all probably sat there thinking, knock a door, run. <laughs> you got hours of pleasure from knock a door, run. There was another game that I played with a friend of mine as well that did it in, didn't actually involve, it was a very lazy version, didn't involve running away, at, uh, knocking on running anywhere. You could do it from the pleasure of his living room because it was called knock a window duck. <laughs> as people walked past his window, we'd knock on it and then duck down. <laughs> Simple pleasures. Simple pleasures. Exploding bolts, shacking bolts, Dorian sword, florins and crowns. Not what I've come for, but I'll take them. Cavalry boots, not what I've come for. Ursine Silver's superior sword. Exactly what I've come for. I thank you kindly. Again, this would be a place that I can't have been in, surely. If, if these... Unless I have initially come here and missed the uh, these the woven gear because I, I don't know maybe somebody can clarify maybe I'll look it up after the session but I've got a feeling that uh, the, the, the wolf school gear was added as a DLC So maybe that's why that some of them might be placed in locations that I think I've already been but haven't seen the, the chests before. Maybe I will just be my usual blind self, but I don't know. I've got, I've got the feeling that they were, they were DLC content. But then, you, then, then all the DLC content for this game came on day release, didn't it? Maybe it was added in a patch. I don't know. I don't bloody know. Right, anyway. <laughs> So that's another one ticked off the list. So now we have Bear School Diagram Silver Saw. Now this must be mastercrafted. This must be the creme de la creme. The elite diagram of the Bear School. Now uh, I also need to check what level I can wear I can wear these things, but uh, yes. Take me to it please. Right here. Right here. In what appears to be the middle of nowhere. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to have to run down here to get to there, to travel across to there, to get to there. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually get run across to here, get on the boat and sail down. That's what I'm going to do. After I've uh, used my white honey. Sweet for my sweet. Sure. Oh, if I, I think I've sung that before. <laughs> I think I've sung that before while sipping white honey. I wonder why. Sunset's nice. I think it's just past sunset right now, but. Well, we can still admire the beautiful sky. It's cleared up the weather as well. Slightly better setting to reminisce to. Just need to find somewhere that's familiar to reminisce about. So when did this game come out? This game came out in, what, May last year, was it? How do you reverse these things? I, I, sh I, I should have figured that out by now, shouldn't I? Oh, there we go. So this game came out in May last year. Did I? Play? I can't remember if I played it on day release or what, but uh, I do remember that first scene with um, Geralt in the hot tub or the bath, whatever the hot tub, the hot tub in these times, in the bath, feet on the edge, yeah, and if I put in that thing between his legs, and I think I replayed that scene numerous times, not for anything particular, but because of the fact that I. When the game first came out, I was having a few issues with the frame rates and stuff. The hair works when it first came out, the game was extremely uh, laggy, caused major lag issues. 
So I was trying to get the right settings and yeah, that great view. But from that, even from that very early time in the game, you could tell this was going to be a good one. Just the way the characters interacted, the atmosphere, the music, you could tell it was going to be something special, even in that very early stage. How do we get... I think this might just do. Let's get out. But then when the game really took off for me was in the White, White Orchard, yeah. Playing Gwent for the first time and thinking, oh no, I remember saying it at the time. Oh no, where's Dice Poker gone? Because I was a big fan of Dice Poker. Uh, what is this? around some. Yeah, we might. Don't, don't tell me. It'll be in the water somewhere. This has got to be in the water. Oh no, it's probably over there where all them bloody drowners are. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Could it be that? No. Surely not. Surely not. Is it you? How do you dive down? Dive, you son of a gun. Dive! I'm holding X. It's not diving. That better not be it. It's not. It's too far out of the... Um... I can't dive down for some reason. Hello? Never mind. Fine. It's, it's fine. I don't I don't need it. I don't need it. Whatever's that chest, I don't need it. Okay? Because my ursine armor is probably on here, no? There it is. I got you. I found you. Found you! I'll be with you in a minute. Just a few drowners to chop down. Right, now can I get it? Thank you, Master Crafter. There we go. Phew. Right. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving forward. What do we have next? Chest armor diagram for the Wolf School gear. Where is that? Where am I? I need to get to here. And it's there. Right near a hidden treasure. This game is taunting me. I definitely think this content was added later after after the game was released. Must have been. Must have been. Right, shall we try one more time getting this uh, chest? Now we go and dive down. Lovely. And you watch, there'll be nothing in it worth my time and effort. Nope. Executioner's boots, that's the best we get. So yes, uh, White Orchard was when the game really flourished for me. The side quests. That, do you know the one quest that, that set the trend really for me? The one quest that set the trend that, oh my god, the side quests here are going to really be so, quests that have stories to them. Aren't going to be just the usual mundane, hey go get this ring and bring it back to me, blah 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 kind of nonsense. Was the quest with um, that first, was it a noon wraith in that abandoned village? You know, that poor lass that had been... The, the, you know what I mean. All the way back... Oh, I can't remember the name of the place. We went to see the man and the man's daughter was sick. We needed water, fresh water, but the well was being poisoned or something by this bloody wraith. Anyway, that was the quest that, that set the tone. The scenery at that point was absolutely sublime. The the battle, you know, our first taste of the battle music, which has changed consistently from location to location. 
But uh, as much as the music in Skelliger is great, the, 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 the general exploration music, I, you just uh, for me, still, my favourite battle music in this is the, the battle music from, from the early early days of, of Velen and, and, and White Orchard, the very first piece that we that we heard. Right, anyway, we have some wolf school gear somewhere in this Vicinity. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Uh, oh! Wait just one second. For a start, we have wraiths. What did I say about wraiths? No problem. <laughs> no problem. Didn't even need to put my spectre oil on either. Yeah, I did not miss this. Bien she. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. I thought this was the uh, wool school gear. It's not. <laughs> Perhaps I did miss it. Right. Hmm. This is a large area to search. Are there any hidden underground passageways? No. Okay. Just keep keep your eyes peeled, Mr. Geralt. This could be the most awkward Witcher gear yet. Wait a minute. What's that? Spectus. Spectre stuff. Really? I'm just looking for Witcher gear. You do not have to stick your flipping beaks into my affairs. Seriously. Save yourself the hassle. Save yourself another death. Loot. What the hell? Look at that. Hidden away. Very sneaky. Okay. Wow, we're flying through these. We're flying through them. Must, it's a good sign of having fun, can you tell? Right, so we have now got all the pieces from Novigrad. Which means that... Uh, I wanted to leave Skelligal to last. I don't know why, but I did. So we're going to go to Kaemorn. We're going to go to Kaemorn. Yes, we are. So I don't think. Oh, oops, Daisy. I don't think we've spent enough time in Cairnmore, to be honest with you. Yes, we've been to, we've been to the keep, the main Witcher keep. We've we fought the battle. We've done a few odds and ends there, but we haven't really like like a Skelliger, you know, just taking in the scenery, taking in the sights. We haven't really done that, have we? Haven't really just meandered about for the hell of it. And I think that's something that we would want to do, you know, as uh, going back there as a, as, as a witcher, you know, just sort of reminiscing about old times. Doesn't seem like out of the realms of the po out of possibility. And especially now that, uh, especially how we've left <coughs> the place in following the battle and stuff, I think it would be quite nice to see who's been left behind. Is is it completely empty now? Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. We're going to quickly find out. This is nothing to do with the quest. This is me simply being nosy at this point. I'm simply going to find out has anyone stayed behind in Care Morn after the battle? Es Eskil said he was going to leave. Obviously, Vesemir has perished in the battle. What about Lambert? So we'll just take a quick look. I've got a feeling, though, we're going to be disappointed. What will happen to this place now that everybody's gone? Is it going to just fall into ruin? Come on, let's have a quick look inside.
Oh, little bleater's still there. Who's going to feed him? Oh, man, it's empty, isn't it? almost just imagine the thoughts running through Geralt's head right now this is probably the f uh, this is the first time we've come inside here since since the since leaving after the battle on our own things as we left them. Remembering our last night. Getting up to mischief, dressing up in Yennefer's clothes. Of course the whole melodrama behind the lifting of the curse. It's sad, isn't it? Really, it really is. It's quite, it's quite moving when you take the time to think about it. You know, it's moments like this in games that sometimes it's very easy to miss when you're running through a, a great pace. But taking the time out to almost, you know, put yourself in the perspective of the character you're playing, whether it's a character you've made up yourself. Or whether it's a different character. Sometimes doing things like this, it's 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 enriching. It helps you appreciate a game even more because it's a sign that you've you've built up an affinity to the characters and and that you know the loss of certain characters, the change of the gaming situation, it's affected you, not as, as a player, and that's a good thing. If you didn't give two craps about the characters involved, you won't, you know, you won't go back there and sort of stand in the in the hall there and and, and, and almost feel a, a a tang of sadness. Anyway, we'll have to see what happens. You never know when we finish what we need to finish. Fingers crossed, Eridan is vanquished and we all live happily ever after. Maybe we will come back here. I mean, from the sounds of it, I don't think any witches in the future are going to happen. I think that whole sort of process is, 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 is finished for now. Is, is finished. Maybe for the better, but I don't know. Could we make use of the place? I'll cut that for review, eh? I know Skellige has its moments, but uh, this place isn't too shabby either. Is it? <laughs> right, come on. I could spend hours, <laughs> spend hours doing things like this. Um, there was a second request, Monster Slayer. Just gonna take a quick peek where that's gonna take us. It's gonna take us here. So the hut and then across. Right, fair enough. And where will the treasure hunting take us? Because there is one treasure hunt to do here as well. There's a couple more here. There's a couple of sword diagrams left. <clears throat> where are they? They appear to be nowhere. That can't be right, surely. Griffin school gear? Oh no, I think I've clicked, I've clicked the wrong quest. <laughs> Have I? Yeah. There we go. There is one here. This is closest to our location now, so I'm going to go here first. What's that? That's the gauntlets. The gauntlets are there. The trousers are there. And over here are the boots. Right, the gauntlets are already highlighted. So we'll mount Roach and we shall be off. Come, Come on, on, girl. On. 
Is that a horse over there? Whose horse is that? Oh, it's a bear. It's okay, Mr. Bear. It's fine. They're saddled horses. Who the hell's over here? Oh, I have no idea where we're going here. Iron mine. Go, go. Wow. Look at this little party of bears we have here. A sleuth. <laughs> That's it, I remember it. Somebody told me a, a group of bears is a sleuth. A sleuth of bears. <sighs> I remembered. Hmm. An area of care more than I haven't been. Well, me personally, of course. I mean, I'm sure Geralt's explored all the nooks and crannies of this place at some point or another. An iron mine, depleted centuries ago. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Yeah, he's been here before. Of course, he has. Iron Man, yes, depleted centuries ago. I can give you the exact date if you wish, but I'm not going to be so precise. <laughs> What's in here? Something big. Um, quite worried actually. Something that walks and shakes the ground is not good. It's either a giant or a cyclops. Or oh, it's an elemental! Hell! Oh, level 30 though, okay. Maybe not quite so cocky with this one. Hey, okay. Elementor, I think a top up is required. Come on then. These roots. Let's get into the open so we can fight you properly. Oh oh. Hissy fit. I got it, I got it. Got me good. But not good enough. The Witcher's Forge, what's that? 
Witch's Forge. What's that? Excuse me. I know I'm supposed to be looking for some diagrams here, but uh, the Witch's Forge. What the hell is that? Right, get the woven gloves. That's a start for ten. Is this an illusion? Witcher's Forge. It's like a quest that I've like finished ages and ages and ages ago. I see they still didn't manage to patch the damn <laughs> completely quest order. Okay, I'm not going to look through the entire list. Come on, grab this flipping thing here. Come on, come on. Oh, God damn it. Okay, complete a collection of Gwent cards. Now apparently we would have won a card if we had won the Gwent tournament from the last guy. That's the only difference that we would have got by winning the tournament rather than not winning it. So I'm wondering if that will affect us completing this quest. Because for somebody that loves Gwen so much, not to complete this quest by the end of the game... It would leave me scarred. Anyway, should we get out of here? There is something behind this, and... I don't know if that quest that popped up has anything to do with it. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like I'm missing something. But uh, nothing else is jumping out at me. So I'm going to just leave. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to leave and... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's got something to do with the, um, the main quest. It could be. I don't know, potentially. Maybe we're going to craft some super weapon to take down Eredin in the Witcher's Forge. Who knows? Uh, we'll I'm sure we'll find out at some point. By hook or by crook. Okay, so the next undiscovered location is there. Right. Not the undiscovered location. Uh, the, the next Witcher gear piece. Armour. Diagram. I'm going to scoot across. Uh, oh! It's a bit, uh, a bit bright on the old eyes. There we go. Roachy! That's it, Roach. Let's go. Are we going the right way? Which way are we going? Check my uh, mm, I think so, it's taking us round this pathway here. Okay, up here and off we go! So just keep going. Just keep going, that's right. You lead me. Lead me to the treasure roach! I'm just going to let you control. And sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was... I remember that. That was the uh, quest... for the preparations for the final battle. Oh, another cave. Just what I've always wanted to enter. Another I know cave. This place. They held the first trials of the grasses here before they built the fortress. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Might want to look around some. I see. Do I have to use cat again? 
Blow my neck. I have got one left. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh. Listen, buddy. You don't want to do this, trust me. I'm going to pull your heart. I'm going to pull your claws off. Pull your damn claws off. It's going to be painful. The place where monster slayers were created, now infested with monsters. Near dripping with irony. Yes, dripping. Mutations were carried out here. Nice acoustics. Its screams must have carried far. How sickening, eh? How long are you gonna make me wait? Look at that. Full house! Almost. Close. So there's quite a bit of history to this place, eh? It'd be a shame to gloss over all of this, wouldn't it? Table for mutations. Like our sad Albert. Except even sadder. That smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. Seeing where the where the gear is. That smell, mutagens, makes me want to vomit despite the years. It seems to be here, nestled away. How do we get to it? There we go. We ain't finished in here yet. This cave does go on a little bit oh, further. Where they brewed the potions. Poisons more like. Some contraption. Broken. The Trial of the Grasses Registry Tome. The hell is that? Bartel of Hengfors died after administering witch grass, heart failure. Diedrich of Gelliball, aged 10, survived the trial, died shortly afterwards, multiple organ failure. Jap of Banglin, aged 8, survived the trial, but damage to brain was too extensive, had to be euthanized. Eliad of Rogged, Rogaven, aged 10, died after administering spear grass, cerebral hemorrhage. Conrad of Rimb, aged 9, survived, convalescing, may begin training next month. God. Bloody factory. And all of this is pretty much rubbish, to be fair. No idea what this was for. Maybe that's for the better. That smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. Prepared the herbs here. Corn lily, nightshade, wolf spain. Nature's finest. That 
smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. I think I... Oh, let's check this. No idea what this was for. Maybe that's for the better. Hmm. Okay. Kind of weird, eh? I am talking about reminiscing about the game in today's session, and uh, we come back to care more, and, and, and Geralt's reminiscing about, well, old times and the, the rituals. Trial of the Grasses. Just a time for reminiscing all round, I think. Hi, Roach. Thanks for waiting. Hopefully that'll be the last of the caves today, because I'm out of bloody cat potion for a start. We do have one more diagram to find. And it is... It's in a kind of a weird spot. Over... Over here. It's like, how do we get there? Go back to the... Follow the path, go back to Cairn Moor and take it from there. Right, you're not going to attack me, Harpies. I am going to be long gone before you even draw breath. Don't panic. Just keep going. Stop panicking and keep going. is to kind of just see if we can make our way Not there so with fast, that. Roach. Uh, yeah, Whoa. does it look like we're going to get over that somehow, does it? I mean, how on earth are we going to get... There's a pathway here. This is all mountain. River? Sort of just meander around the river? So it seems to be the only thing I can think of. Kind of just... Kind of just go down the river's edge. Oh, wrong way. Go down the river's edge. Make our way. A lot of bears here. It's okay, Roach, I'll leave you here. I know you don't like going in too deep, so it's fine. I'll just go the rest of the way on foot. It better not be at the top of some real steep place. You know what? I'll take a cave. I'll take a grotto or a cave right now. Give me a grotto or a cave. Nothing more, nothing complex. Just a grotto or a cave, please. That's all I ask for. Don't make me have to get to the top of some real long... No! Oh. Ah. That's fine. Not quite the right way. Okay. Phew. Sigh of relief. Just need to go around the corner, that's all. Drown dead. Should have stayed drowned, you should have stayed dead. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to swim.
this does not look promising. Where on earth? Right, it's on our right hand side. Ah! Ah! Okay, I, I'll take it. Oh, look at this waterfall and everything. Very nice. Can I examine? Come on, I want to. Okay. We can examine it, it's fine. It will, it will, it will be in here somewhere. I'm out of cat potion. I'm going to do this one in the dark. It's going to be even darker on YouTube, so I apologise, but. I could meditate for an hour, couldn't. Oh. It's quite big. It's quite big. <sighs> okay. I give in. I give in. Cat it is. It's gotta be some big beast here. It's gotta be, right? Can I scuttling? I can hear scuttling! It's making me feel uneasy. Getting chills up my spine. Come on, give me something to work with here. I'm not bothered about your damn crafting rubbish. Where's the good stuff? Seriously, where's the flipping good stuff? There? No. Ah. Phew. All right, thank you. It's been a pleasure, but I really must dash. Can I get out this way? This is not the way I came in, is it? This is a different way. No, it's not. Okay, I'll do. Right, ho! I don't know how long we've been going, but it feels like a little while, and uh, whew, I need a drink. Not a stiff drink. No, not an alcoholic drink. No. Not even a cup of tea, which is very rare. Uh, <clears throat> but I am dying for some for some juice. That's a bit dry, and I'm a bit you know I'm parched here. Now, uh, fortunately, are we? Yeah, there's no fast travel point here, and we're in the middle of the wilderness. So, don't know if I have the energy to make it back to the side quest. So I'm going to end the session here. But I've really enjoyed today's session. Been fun reminiscing. Been fun. In the next session, we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. What we're going to do is we're just going to finish off this quest, Monster Slayer, which, as you've seen already, is up here. So we'll make our way there in the next session and see what that's about. And then when we've done that, we should be finished in Cairnmore, at least for now, unless the main quest line brings us back here. Which means that we can go on. Who the hell's messaging me at flaming half past one in the morning? Uh, we can move on to the final few 
pieces of diagrams from the treasure hunting quest line. There's eight of them, spread across our favourite part of the world, Skellige. So that will be the next session, second request and the treasure hunts. And then after that, we're going to press on with the main quest. Final preparations. We're going to start picking up the pace because we're getting near the end here. I don't mean I'm going to start rushing things, I just mean we're going to keep the uploads coming. Because I'm starting work next Monday, seven days from now, and I want this game to be finished before then. So I'll upload Fallout, perhaps on Wednesday or Thursday, but for the rest of the week it's going to be, it's going to be Witcher to a finish. And I'm going to enjoy every last minute of it. You know, playing a game for 150 hours, you know, the end is in, the end is nigh, it's a culmination of your experiences and it's you know, it should be a fun time. Spread that 150 hours out over a 9 to 10 month period, it makes the ending just that much more important. You get that bit more excited for it because it's something that you've built up to for a long, long time. So I'm going to certainly enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it with me and thank you for watching as usual. Until next time, see you soon.